welcome back to my channel and <laughs> welcome back to a week in my life in Tampa I'm I'm reunited with my baby we are in Tampa we're at my house for the week for Mother's Day my brother's graduation party and other fun things oh how I've missed this stunning view ah I'm so happy to be home are you just so oh he rolls over hello baby all right we're headed to dinner. Headed. Headed. We're wearing both black dresses and we're both wearing super goop glow screen. Well, I have it on half my face. She, yeah, she I've, goes, wait, look in the light. Look at my face. I gave her a test. One she side, said, I said I like that side better and she said that's the super goop side. Well, well sometimes I put on two different socks. <laughs> sometimes you put on two different socks. <laughs> little you summer Fridays, the bomb. Oh, and I added a little blush, like a little cream blush and sunscreen. Oh, yeah, I should put some. Yeah. I forgot how good this one is. It's a nice color. But we're going to a just a local restaurant, you know, and get some grub. He doesn't. You don't know I'm vlogging right now. Right now. <laughs> Finley, guys, if you don't know, Finley stands with his feet like you never know which direction he's gonna go. He's in first position. He's in. He's a ballerina. Oh, cute shoes, mom. Right. Okay. Right. She still got it. Oh, you're so cute. We're in my childhood bedroom. Fun fact, we've never moved my whole life, so I've always had this bedroom. I mean, it's been purple wall, aqua wall. A lot of you guys have been there throughout all the wall colors. Um, but yeah, so I'm just wearing this dress. It's easy to change out of my airport outfit from Revolve. I'm gonna bring this little black bag. And then it's always fun going through your closet at home. I have these shoes that I remember I bought in Greece. Yeah, I think in Greece. And I'm going to Greece in two weeks, yeah, from a store called Nico's Shoes. And I think it'd be a cute little moment with this dress, some gladiator shoes. And then I just got these sunglasses. I caved. I really did. You guys know I love to spend money on bags and sunglasses. Like, that's my thing. These Celine sunglasses. I've had my eye on for so long, and I was like, I just need to get them. They're so beautiful. It's giving European summer, but we're in Florida. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the dinner fit. I'm just going to get dinner with my parents. I hate to leave Finley since I just saw him, but we're all hungry. And my mom was like, I don't want to cook because tomorrow's a big graduation party and I've got to keep the kitchen clean and all the things. So I decided I've been doing this TikTok series of me trying different hairstyles. And I did a half a path down and like slicked it back. And someone said, I think her name was Julia. She said, try it with a middle part. And I tried it and I'm obsessed. I feel like it's so cute. It's that perfect amount of like snatch, slick back, but then you have some hair down. Especially if you have long hair, I feel like that would look so good. And then I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw Sophia Richie Grange wears her hair like this all the time. So now I'm just like obsessed. And now I'm just trying to cosplay as Sophia Richie <laughs> in my childhood bedroom. All is right in the world. Good night, see you guys in the morning. Saturday morning and we are starting off the day right Freddie is taking me along a workout he's my trainer this morning um, we have like a little gym in our garage that we made during like COVID times and it's stuck and it's been great so I'm kind of scared because my brother was a D1 athlete in college for a while so let's see how this goes let's see what he's got going on down here for me Yes, let's get the Drake going. All right, we just did a quick little brisk walk and Freddie's setting up <laughs> and he asked me to turn on the um, sauna so that we can get in when, ooh, not 175, that is way too hot. He's gonna kill me, but 160 is, ugh, 150, man. That's more than enough. Whew, all right, getting the sauna prepped. So that when we're done working out, we can hop in. Love it. But yeah, we just went on a quick little brisk walk around the neighborhood to kind of get the, the body going. Hello, sunshine. 
and he said we're starting with kettlebell swings. Great trainer, Freddie. Yeah. That was fun. I've never had you like do that before for me. It's time to enter the sauna. I put on a biker short set instead. Ooh, it's hot. I can confirm. Freddie insisted we take a break. <laughs> guys, I've never sweat that fast. I don't even know if you guys can see how much I'm sweating. I think it's because we like truly did a big old workout after. Okay, you can't even see, but I'm like, there are drips of sweat. I don't know why I'm trying to prove this to you guys, but I'm really happy. I haven't been in the sauna in a minute. Finley's like, what are you guys doing without me? I'm sorry. Hello. I know I'm a little wet. I got in the pool. We're in the car now. I have my phone suctioned to the window. I'm waiting for my mom. We're about to go run some errands. Gotta love some suburb errands. Um, we're going to run some, how many times can I say errands? Pre-party errands. Uh, we are going to Party City, picking up some balloons so that we have them out front. Oh, you're good. I'm just filming. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Oh my God, that's incredible. <laughs> It's literally amazing. Oh. Would have changed my vlogging game back in the oh day. My gosh. Uh, so we're going to get balloons. We're going to get what? Cheese board stuff. Mm -hmm. um, some mixers for yes. cocktails. Some candles and some stirs. What are the candles for? Like Just for around the house. Tea lights? Yeah. No, I have those. I, my big pillar ones. All my, oh, yeah. Those have all burned down. I just want them. Non offensive. Right. Unscented light. Simple. Yeah. Oh, gotta love some errands. Yeah. Drinking my fave green juice from the local spot. And yeah. Waving to neighbors because that's what you do yeah. here. Yeah. You say, hey. They're having a birthday party today, too. Oh, the neighborhood is hopping. <laughs> um, anyways, mom, you can end that. Okay. See you guys bye soon. Bye. You can bye, girls. Off. Oh, no, that's her dad's thing. Really quick pit stop before we go to Party City. We're gonna go to Home Goods because I took out the twinkly lights that I had over my headboard in my bed. I don't know if you guys remember. And now the only light in my bedroom here is my overhead light. So like when I got into bed to read last night, oh, yeah. it was just I, I had to. Have a little dust lamp that was in Freddy's room. No, no, no. I want like okay. a little moody lamp for my oh, nightstand. Gotcha. I'm here enough. Yeah, no, so, really coordinated. I and guess. you can never deny a quick little trip to home goods. Exactly. So, here we go. I think I like this one. Oh, cute, cute and moody. Yeah. You just unplug it and take it home. That's what you do. <laughs> You're coming home with me. That was easy. I guess I should look a little bit more, but I mean, well, when we get home, just I'll plug it in and make sure I like it. Next stop, Parte Cite. Getting a purple bandana to put on Finley for Furman colors where Freddie graduated from. Yay. Yay. And now for the Holy Land, Publix. Oh, we love Publix. We've got all the party essentials. We've got ginger beer from Moscow Mules, cranberry juice, two different types of LaCroix, all the crackers for the cheese board. We're locked and ready, baby. What do you have to say? Hi, girls. <laughs> Hello. Is that the same size bottle? Guys, my dad just got me a ginormous bottle of Grey Goose. Is that the one you get? Well, I think it's just because you went to Costco. But it's bigger? Yeah. I didn't know it was cheaper because it was $40. $40? $40. That's. $40. I mean, I don't know. I think. I think you gotta... Yeah, Costco's big. So. Yeah. I'm excited. Guys, I have discovered that Grey Goose just doesn't make me really hungover. So, we're doing... Today's party day. Party prep has begun. Let's go show everybody what we've got going on. Got the bar over here. Some very cool things happening. Very nice. We're setting up a little bar here for Freddy's party later. And they took my mom's like herb planter and put a surfboard on top to be a bar, which I think is so cute. This will have beer and water. That'll have ice to make cocktails. We put the umbrella, we, they put the umbrella up here. 
And then the umbrella has lights that turn on, so I think at night it'll be really cute. Little surfboard bar. I love it. The new lamp is perfect. I love it. It'll make reading at night a lot more relaxing. Okay, before I have to start getting ready, I want to get outside and get a little sun. So I'm going to use my Kopari Sun Shield Body Glow. This stuff is freaking amazing. I feel like it makes me so tan and it's protective, obviously. It's my little beach bag I keep at home to go outside the pool. I'm going to grab my Kindle. I've got super goop on but i feel like i should put more super goop on my face let the tanning begin he's so cute such a good boy yes come here i'll, I'll throw it to you you give it to me that feeling of jumping in the pool and then like baking in the sun and drying off from the pool on the chair like oh it feels so good just washed my hair from wet to dry I use this new Dyson air straight and literally look how my hair looks it feels so light too it doesn't feel like stuck to my my head you know like when you use a flat iron and I also feel like when I use a flat iron that it like oxidizes my hair color and it looks different but my hair looks nice and light I am so happy it literally took me 10 minutes and I didn't have any like heat damage really other than like the hot air I'm so happy. I'll have a link down below for you guys to check it out if you want, but I'm obsessed. All right, here is my fit for the night. I'm really happy. I've been wanting to wear this shirt, and I was like, wait, Freddie's grad colors are purple, so. Um, wearing this top, it's from Revolve. I think it's so beautiful. It literally goes so long. And then I'm wearing these white linen pants that I got from Madewell, and I like them because they don't do the weird bunching thing here. I was literally telling the woman at Madewell and she's like, I know just the white pants for you. And these are so good, but they're like still thick. Um, and then I'm gonna do my jewelry. I'm wearing these necklaces. I'm like, is that annoying? Because I have this, but I don't know. I don't think so. It's my little jewelry compartment here. Um, I'm gonna do my earrings from Jared. I literally love these so much. I've got all my bracelets on already. These two are from Goriana. I just got these. I have thicker ones, but those are like, these are thinner. And they came in a pack of two, like a bigger one and a smaller one. Gorjana is how it's spelled, but I think it's pronounced Goriana. And then ooh, rings, 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 rings. I have this little ring stack set. They, I got them together from Lily Clasp. I think that's how you pronounce it. So we'll put that on and then I'll do my Orium Collective Ooh. ring. So this is from Orium, and then I have this one from Orium as well. I have them all on like a thing, so I'm getting them off. People are starting to arrive. I'm like, it's not even five yet. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's cute. Earrings are on. We are in business, people. And then for shoes, I'm gonna wear these from Dolce Vita. I will link them below. They're very comfortable. I'm bringing them to Greece with me. Here's the final look. Party is over. Social battery is so low. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Look how good my lamp looks, you guys. Happy Mother's Day. So this is a little something that you're gonna wear on our trip. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, if you don't like it, it's okay, but. Danielle, you just did a great job. Oh. A little silkiness. Oh, wow. 
It is the most flattering cute dress. I almost bought it for myself too. Did you try it on? That's beautiful. No, I did not. But it is from Revolve, and I know you've been I loving your Revolve dresses. So, tonight, we are doing a staycation at the one and only brand new Edition Hotel oh in Tampa. Gosh. And we have spa appointments in the morning. We're going to eat at Azure tonight and get a lounge by the pool, and it's gonna be the best day ever. Yay! <laughs> you don't have to wear this tonight. No. But it goes with the aesthetic of the addition. You wouldn't wear it like obviously buttoned all the way up, but it's so, it looked really cute on the model, so. Alrighty, sounds like my mom's excited. So we're gonna leave in a couple hours, but wanna get some movement in, so I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm wearing this set from Story. I keep these Hoka sneakers at home. They're just the black and white ones. I have the white ones in New York for when I go for walks and stuff. Um, so it's one less pair of shoes that I have to bring with me. Um, and yeah, I'm wearing this knee sleeve because my arches, I'm getting foot inserts on Wednesday, but long story, I'm not injured, it's just uncomfortable, so yeah, gonna go for a walk, I'm not gonna bring my phone, because I just wanna like, get it out, maybe do a workout, because sometimes after a walk I'm like feeling pumped up, ready to go, but we'll see, it's Sunday, you know. To the Edition Hotel we go, packed my bags for our staycation tonight. Here is the outfit for going to the hotel. This set is from Princess Polly. I put on a little super goop and cream blush. Sandals are uh, Dolce Vita. And we're gonna be by the pool today, but we thought it'd be fun to like arrive to the hotel, kinda dress to impress. We're excited to let the Mother's Day Spectacular begin. <laughs> Oh my god, you look incredible. I have to take a picture of you. So cute. Yes, she's the addition girly. Oh yes. Oh my god, wait, I'm gonna do a little video too. Give me the foot pop. Love. <laughs> cute. We are headed to the pool. I love the hat. She's like, yes, our room's fab. My here's my little outfit. Um, you guys have seen all this before. Skirt is Papo. It's like a little cover-up. Actually, does it zip on the... I actually might be wearing this. I definitely am wearing this wrong. It zips on the back. And then, yeah, it looks like that. Top is Axe. Sandals are Dolce Vita. We just got back to the room, and they brought us a little sweet treat. Pistachio... Is it, it's so it's sweet, duh. Mm -hmm. mm. It is time for the, oh, this shower is stunning. Let me check, oh, the lavabo. Oh my gosh. In our hotel robes, I'm wearing these eye patches from In Beauty. I didn't know they looked like lightning strikes until I put them on, but. Ah, uh, we're thriving. We ordered room service hot tea. We're doing it up. One night only, baby. I keep saying that. I'm like, it's whatever we want. The spread is immaculate. Got our tea, our energy for the night, our caffeine. Yeah, it's good stuff. Listening to this playlist on Spotify right now, and it's a vibe. All right, we are all ready for dinner. We are going to Azure, which is on the roof as well. It's like Mediterranean. Um, very excited. She's wearing her new dress. You look so cute. I love it, thank you. I love it, all of everything, all the accessories. She used the Dyson Air Straight. What do we think? Wow. I know. It works well. It does, it truly does. Cute shoes, Steve Madden. Yeah, we love our Steve. We love our Steve. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, and then we're gonna go. My outfit is Michael Costello from Revolve. It's just this little green set. I thought it matched the Edition Hotel quite well. Green and white. My mom's in white, I'm in green. Dolce Vita shoes, all my normal jewelry. We're gonna go. Yay! It's a vibe out here at night. Wow. 
So my mom wants to go dancing and she asked the concierge, she's like, where can I dance? It's a Sunday night. So we're walking over the bridge, going to Harbor Island. There's a place called American Social I've been before and we're gonna hopefully get some dancing in. We shall see, it's the only place open tonight. Here we go. So vibey, right? We love a turn down service. Mm -mm -mm. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. We're both matching. We're going down to get breakfast. Guys, hot tip. I booked with Amex through Amex Travel because I have an Amex credit card and I didn't realize like you get all these benefits. We get late checkout, 4 p.m. checkout. I don't know if that's every hotel, but the addition gives Amex members 4 p.m. checkout. What else do we get? Free, uh, $85. $85 credit for breakfast this morning, which is more than enough for two people and a hundred dollar food and like credit towards anything at the hotel, towards the spa, which we're going to, towards like a meal, anything from the mini bar, whatever. So that's for Amex Platinum, at least I know. And it definitely has fees, so it's nice to have some benefits. And you literally just like go on the website on Amex and search the hotel you're wanting to book. And if they have it on there, which they have a lot, I mean, they had this one, Brooke and I, th I think we did it through the, with the Nobu Hotel when we went in Atlanta, but I can't remember. Um, so they have a lot, and you're getting some free benefits, so, yeah, my mom and I are going down to Market, which is one of their restaurants for breakfast. We're both wearing some black dresses to make it easy, and then we have our spa appointments. <laughs> appointments were fabulous afterwards we got in the steam room in the sauna which is really nice and we were like you know what we have late checkout at 4 p.m. it's prime sun time we're gonna go up there maybe get some green juice a little like just really just live it up for this last few moments before we head back to the house so I'm wearing the same brand a e x a e I don't know how to pronounce it I just love the tan lines I get from them they fit really well I just really like I'm wearing my orange one today um, sunglasses are from Celine, same skirt as yesterday, um, and we're gonna head up to the pool for like an hour and a half, and then come back, shower, and go back. Well, that is a wrap. We're all packed up. We definitely got a good use out of our one night staycation, so it's literally almost four o'clock on the dot, so we've, we've seen our time. Look at the tan line I got. Love it. We're gonna head back to hang out with Finley and get things done, but this was fun. Do you have fun? Oh my gosh, the best ever. Yay! Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning. My mom and I just went for a long hot girl walk with Finley, so hot boy walk. And I'm all warmed up now. My mom walks fast. She's a true like mom power walker situation. Um, and I went on the walk because I was like, it'd be a good warm up for my workout. And now I'm like, <laughs> so tired. But um, I'm gonna have an element. I love these so much. They're my hydration things. This one's watermelon salt flavor, but my goal is I, I got on the Peloton last night and I did <coughs> powders in my throat. I did a 20 minute hip hop ride with Allie Love and it was so fun. It was like really good music and for me half the motivation is music honestly and I love how they have like 20 minute rides. It's so nice. 
So I'm probably gonna do the same again just because I'm like so tired from that walk. <laughs> you know, just justifying all of my actions. Well, glad I still I got some power in me there. You do. You are a true power walker. Um, and I'm gonna gotta take advantage of the sauna that we have here. Um, so I'm gonna turn on the sauna once I start my Peloton so it's heated up. And yeah, we'll have a whole little morning. Cheers to that. I have a little project I want to work on later on my bedroom. So yeah, happy Tuesday. All right, we are downstairs now. We're gonna turn on the sauna so it's nice and ready for me. I just drank my element, so I feel like I'm good to go. Put it on 60 minutes so it doesn't not heat up. I'll do 130, I think I liked that the other day. And now we're gonna go pick a Peloton workout. A wellness queen, no I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding. Alrighty, first things first. We have got to get the fan going because it's freaking hot out there. It's freaking bats. Ooh. All right, as you can see, got it all ready for me already because I was on this last night. Just gotta switch to my spin shoes. These are my mom's boyfriend's shoes. He has bigger feet. Turn this puppy on. Typically I just go on here and I play my own music and teach my own little spin class, but I've been needing some more inspiration and motivation and the classes are really fun on Peloton, so that's what we're gonna do. Wow, the fan is so loud. Okay, love Alex Toussaint and I love the music he's showing for this class, so we are for sure, wait, I want to do this one. Yeah, okay, yay. On the cool down, we did it! Yesterday I did 20 minutes, today we did 30. I'm dead. Brooke saw my Instagram story and she's like, all right, we're going to Soul Cycle next week. I was like, I should just do it. I should just freaking do it. I'm gonna do a quick arm. All right guys, showered, I'm nice and tan, another great day by the pool. Oh, I finished the book. I finished thing, uh, what's it called? One of Us is Dead and it was really good. Um, okay, so, it's just like time. Every time I film in my childhood bedroom, I just feel very unmotivated, I feel like blah, and I know this room has potential. It's, it's got that lighting, We've. I love my headboard, I will keep that forever, but you know, if you guys see my apartment in New York City, it's just not this style. So I really want to change up my throw pillows, get some neutral throw pillows, change up what we have up there. Actually, I do love that quote. It's called the Holstein Manifesto, and it's really, really great. But I don't know, like the New York this way, it's giving pre-Danielle living in New York City. Love that mirror. I'm going to keep it. Up here, I have like this cork board of all these photos. I think I want to switch this up. Just everything. I mean, I'll keep my diploma over there. Maybe get, I don't know. It's just all stressing me out. And I love this desk. It's really cool. And I won't like switch it. There's no need to. And then this corner, part of me, that tree just like needs to go. I don't know why I ever thought it was a good idea to put it over there. <laughs> like it's literally whenever like someone sleeps over, it, the, it's like in their face. So that's just not it. So part of me thought I'll either donate it I put it in this corner. There's not really a lot in these bins. I got this when I was like living at home during COVID, but I could probably move all this stuff to my actual closet, probably. And then this I used to have, I long time ago I used to have nail polish and now I used to have sunglasses and now I just like don't live here. And I feel like I could just switch this up. So I kind of want to take some screwdrivers and take that out and donate this. This is like literally meant for nail polish. Um, but yeah, I could move that tree over here. I think that would look really nice and then take this down Maybe put like the Holstein manifesto above here. I don't really know Up there is a ton of like memorabilia from when I was younger like when I was on the swim team flag football football manager like random stuff, but it kind of I don't know I don't want to just take all the charm away from my bedroom, but like I don't know. Every time I come back, I'm like, eh, I don't want to spend any time in here, which is fine. Like, I should be outside. But anyways, 
we're gonna do a little trip to home goods and because when my mom and i were there the other day i was like oh i see some stuff that i could use and i think i'm just gonna get a couple quick things to just spruce it up and it'll be a, pro a work in progress i should probably also take my watermelon um fan pull down if you guys don't know my favorite food I mean, I still love watermelon, but I don't know if it's my favorite food anymore. Like, I used to eat it all the time, so my dad had got me that. But it's just, you know, it's just time for a little freshy fresh. So let's do it. It's literally so humid. I have cleaned the camera lens, like, three times just now, and it's still just, you know, Florida. Um, so as you guys know, I sold my Volvo, which was the saddest thing known to man. But one thing that's not so sad is my mom kept this. That This was the exact one that was in my car. I mean, it's literally nothing special, but I've had it in my car forever. That holds my phone so I can DJ as I drive and all the things. And she was like, she took it to the dealer to give it to them since they had bought it. And she was going to leave it in the car. And I think my dad was like, no, no, you should take that. You know, use it. And it just, like, makes me feel, like, a little bit like I'm in my own car with that. <laughs> Even though this is an infinity and that was a Volvo and it was so good, but it's fine. I'm fine Um, so excited. We're gonna do the whole thing Starbucks drive through decaf coffee Finally figured out a way to play like my own music on my mom's Um car because she was like, I don't think you can play iPod music. I'm like, yes, you can Um, so yeah, my camera's probably gonna fall right now But yeah, Starbucks then home goods then home to redo things. I mean, it's all little spruces, but you know Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thanks. Yay! Mmm. Wow. Starbucks just like tastes better in Florida. I think because we have amazing options in New York City that I just don't, I don't go to Starbucks a ton. If I go to Starbucks, it's because I want like the bistro, like egg and cheese box or like a snack. Not, I mean, I'll get coffee if it's nearby, but I prefer other things. Pretty crazy. I'm so New York. <laughs> I'm being silly right now, huh? I literally love Florida so much, and people, I've been getting comments recently, like, whenever you go back to Florida, you seem so happy. Like, maybe you should move from New York and move back to Florida, but there's a reason I left Florida. Um, well, there's many reasons, and I love Florida, and I do plan to come back because I do realize how much I love it when I leave it. However... None of my, I, I do have, I do know lots of people that live here still, but none of my best friends live here. I wouldn't really have a community. Like when I come home, if it's not during the holidays, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Like my friends are everywhere. Like a lot of my friends are moving to New York City. A lot of them live in Georgia. Um, a lot of my friends live all over the country. And um, obviously community is a really big thing to me. And I've actually created a really awesome community for myself in New York City and leaving I mean, I don't even plan on leaving for like another four or five years. So, I mean, it's just not in the question anytime soon. And a lot of my friends from home, we've kind of, I mean, life could change and I'm not holding anyone to it, but a lot of us agreed like we'll probably move to Tampa again, like in the future and we'll probably all come around the same time, which would be so fun. And we all have babies together and it's all so fun. But you can never plan the future that much. But keep saying, but I literally love Florida so much. I love coming home. It's such a nice oasis. However, I feel like I love my New York City lifestyle pace. Like, it, it's very slow and chill here, which is nice, and I appreciate it when I come home, but I need fast. At least at this point in my life, at 24 years old, I need the New York City lifestyle, and I love it so much, and I am so grateful that I can come to Florida so easily and be with my family, be with my dog, see friends when they're home, but I don't think it's the vibe for me right now. Okay, let's keep driving. All right, here we go. Right. I got everything and more, of course. I really hope my pillow selection is good. We shall see. But I'm really excited. I didn't find as much wall art as I wanted. I think what I really need to do is take down some wall art and like refill those holes. Just like nails everywhere, it's gonna look bad, but I don't wanna have to like repaint my whole room, obviously. I don't know. I was trying to like cover up my previous nail holes with like new artwork. <laughs> but I did find this amazingness. It's two in one. It's like two. You'll see when we get back. And I found this. So we found two things of artwork. But, you know. I would like to go to Target too, but 
family dinner just got moved to 6.45, so I don't have much, as much time. All right, we are back. First things first, I wanted to get some new throw pillows. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with how that looks. These are Tommy Bahama. I was, I literally wrote down in my notes like rattan looking like basket weave vibe pillows. And I love these. They look really orange right now because it, the sun is coming down and my light is honestly super yellow. Um, but yeah, I also was, they didn't have any, which I'm really sad about just like plain white shams. These are from my old comforter and I got a new, just like plain white comforter. So I'm looking for, like, I just wanted my non ruffle ones, but didn't have. So I'm just going to order some on Amazon so I won't get to see it all together, unfortunately. But you guys get the gist. Okay, I turned off the overhead light and that looks so good. And then I also got this pillow because I thought it kind of pulled it all together. I thought those two just, they needed something else. And whenever I come to Florida, it's like the beach house in a way. So I thought that could be fun. Oh, I actually love that. My mom is going to think that's so cute. I need to just take that tree out of there because it's really pissing me off. But, oh, I love. Took the tree away. He's over there now. And it's already looking so much better. Now I'm not liking those black frames up there because it's just so soft. And then it's like, boom. So we'll take those down, but I'll show you guys what else I got. And then here are the other goodies I got. Wow, this is just a vibe already. Just to disperse throughout my room. So this I got to replace just to fix this situation. That like organizer, I don't know. I think it'll look good on my desk there. This, this reminds me of my apartment in New York City. Just like the um, pompous grass I could put on one of those things. Not really sure yet. Also reminded me of my apartment in New York. These are decorative beads that I will lay across something. I've been wanting candlesticks, so I was like, I could put them in my Florida room. And these look super great. I didn't want to do real candles, so I got these flameless LED candles with a remote. So hopefully those fit. They were right next to the candlesticks, so I sure do hope. <laughs> and then I got this, which is like, as you can see, textural fiber. And I was thinking that would go there and take the other one down or something like that. So I'm gonna get to work. I think we're about to have dinner, so I might have to take a pause so it might be nighttime when I come back, but I am so excited. We have completed eating dinner and Finley is just still chilling. He's like, I want food. Let's go watch the sunset, Bubba. Come on. Oh, it's so lovely outside. Where's your stingray? Where's your stingray? Is he out there somewhere? Oh, I found dirty stingray. You ready, Finn? Ugh, that was terrible throw. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I just took off the cork board thing I had and look. I guess I have like can I've had candles. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I feel like what is it called? Magic eraser or um, Mister Mister Clean Magic Eraser. I've heard like, ew, that gives me the eebie jeebies. But this is looking good. I organized this. I took some other stuff and put it in one of these bins so it's not like all out in the open. I'm trying to decide what I want. If I want to keep this riser. But I like how those look in that corner. Oh, that's awful. Took the other ones down. That looks just god awful at the moment. But look what I just did. I took my computer out from under there. And that definitely looks so cute with the decorative beads. Oh my gosh, ignore that. A vibe, right? A vibey corner. I don't love how this looks. But I do have stuff that I do need on my desk. Hmm, I don't know. Added these candlesticks. Trying to decide how I'm vibing with them. Maybe once I put batteries in them and they're on and they're more of a vibe. I think also I'm just really thrown off by this. That looks good. Um, I'm currently trying to peel off this darn sticker. I don't know why they put it on this. Like, clearly I'm gonna hang this up. So I might need to ask my mom who doesn't ever paint her nails to help me with that. I actually love these little photos that I had above my desk. It was just really busy. So, and I love this one. It's, I don't really know where it is. I bought it on Urban Outfitters, I think. But it's really pretty. So, I was trying to figure out what to put there. Just because I think the black is really harsh with this bedding situation now. I could put two of these and just hang them up there. So it's not, you know, it'll make it more softer. And then maybe that over there in replacement of the acrylic thing um and then this oh this is what i was gonna show you guys this is what i got to hopefully 
be able to hang above my desk, which I think will look so nice. It's technically two. Let me just knock it over. It's technically two and they're supposed to be vertical, but I'm gonna see if my dad can help me tomorrow to hang them up horizontally. And then there's like a space, like there's two separate pieces. And it's just like a white, like textured artwork, but it's not offensive, you know, very chill, very relaxing. I think it'll look good when I'm filming here. Of course, my dad, so kindly, when I graduated from Georgia, like I came home and he had hung up my diploma. I wouldn't have chosen to put it there, but I don't know where else to put it. I can maybe, I have something hanging up over there. I could put it there. It's just a hodgepodge of things in here, but I just want to make it more inspiring, you know? Okay, well, so we're running into that same issue. That's disgusting. I think it'll be easy to clean. I think that one looks good there. That one's just too small. And I actually duh, forgot about this one that I haven't gotten the sticker off yet. But let me see how this looks in that space. Okay, that definitely looks better. It's just throwing me off that like black frame around. I'm going to ask my mom. Moms always know what to do. Like what, how I can get that off. I think, I wonder if I even just paper towel with water. But yeah, I think I like that. I just need to get the sticker off. <laughs> but we're getting some more people. I use them to clean the fish tank. <laughs> I knew you would just have these. So I so I think I soak it completely. Yeah, and then I get it after it. Whew, this definitely did the trick. There's still a very slight outline, but I couldn't get it. Maybe I'll try more later, I got tired. But now I wanna try and do the one behind here. Okay, so I've put this there for now. My dad's gonna help me tomorrow. Hopefully this will look better. And then I decided I'm gonna keep this for now because I kind of do like how I can put something on top of it. I moved this over here. That's gonna go down tomorrow. I'm gonna unscrew it. I'm just getting sleepy, honestly. But I do like how that looks. I like how that looks now. Maybe I could get something bigger, but for now I think that looks good. It looks so nice and serene in the lamp I got the other day. This is the stuff I'm going to bring down to donate, except for this one. I'm not donating this one. This one someone actually made for me, and it's so cute. Um, the others I'm going to bring to the thrift store. And, yeah, I need to put batteries in the candlelights. But, yeah, just ignore <laughs> all of this. But and it still looks, like, cluttered. Ugh, I hate that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm already happier with it. Okay, it's very vibey in here at night. I'm feeling good. And something I also just did, which is kind of the point of the hooks on the door, but I think the reason I thought this was looking cluttered is because you could see everything I had hanging up on the door. So I just took everything off and just put it in my closet. And I do just like how that looks because I have this mirror here. I'm almost considering when my dad comes tomorrow, maybe putting these here and then the mirror here to reflect light from the windows. I don't know, that could be like a really bad idea. But so that when you walk in, it doesn't feel extra cluttered because you're not like looking at everything in the room. Let me know what you guys think down below, even though by the time this is up, I will already have done something. But I always love to hear your guys' opinion. Um, anyways, I just took another shower. I literally showered earlier, but I just felt like all dusty and gross from like cleaning everything. So I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll see you guys in the morning. We have much to do tomorrow. So we've hit a curveball and my camera is telling me low battery, which never happens. Like, I didn't bring the charger because usually for like a week I don't need it. But I don't have it and I don't have anything like it. So I guess, oh that's so sad. I guess I'm gonna end the vlog here. So that just means I'm also filming like a TikTok reel. So if you guys wanna see how my room looks at the end, Instagram at Danielle Carolyn, TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. I've been vlogging on my phone and have been doing like, I'm going to show like the transformation, the spruce up. So if you guys want to see how it all turned out, definitely go follow me there. I'm sure the video will already be up by the time this vlog is up. So I'm sorry about that. But I just don't want to like vlog all day tomorrow on my phone. And I, I'm pretty sure this vlog is already pretty long. So I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I enjoyed taking you guys along. This week, I head home. Tomorrow's my last day, so you're just missing one day. And then we'll get back to the New York City content. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.